The big moment has arrived. It's time to harvest that one and only tomato. Can't wait. Ooh, <laughs> he was ready then. I'm going to harvest the green beans today. This is these are the beans that I planted or sowed. They are dwarf French beans, slenderette variety. I sowed them just say for easiness on the first of August, just on the rack back there on the first of August. So this is now September the twenty first. So I make that roughly seven weeks. And I'm going to harvest them seven weeks. And they were just in a bucket. My bucket beans. <laughs> I'm going to harvest my bucket beans. <laughs> just find it unbelievable how quickly they can grow. I've watched a few YouTube channels and read a little bit about them. If you pick them while they're quite young, it encourages the plant to grow more. So that's definitely what I would like. So we're going to take all the biggest ones off today. And that will be for my dinner this evening. Right, let's chat. More picking. Bean number one. Did you just pull them? Yep. Oh, look! My first bean. Ah. <laughs> bean number two. Oh, they're tough, aren't they? Tough wee buggers. Bean number two. Mr. Green Bean. There we go. We handful of green beans each tonight for our dinner. Me and Mr. Kelpie. <laughs> oh, seven weeks. That's just amazing. I've put my cloches back on top of the swede, the onions, and the leeks. The leeks are getting bigger, they've also begun to flop about a bit. So I have taken all the plastic bottles from the house, I've cut the tops off and I've cut the bottoms off and I'm going to put them around the leeks to try and help them stay just a little bit more straighter. We're going to have a look at this ear that's on the sweet corn. The plant's still quite healthy looking and still growing. There are a lot of ears on it, which is fantastic. But uh, I had a little look at this ear in particular. I, I pulled back the leaves last week and the kernels were really quite small. So I'm going to have another look just now. you can see that they're definitely there they're looking good but um, nowhere near ready so I shall wrap them back up in these PJs and leave them for another week Fantastic, she's starting to spread out and, and, we have a girlie! Yay! So I think we might be okay for pollination this time. <laughs> the courgettes are doing so well. These guys, albeit a bit pale, still growing. They're doing really well. There's another big one there. Ready? Go! 
very happy to be on top of the green fly problem with the lettuces. It's all under control now. I've been rinsing them when I've had to. And it, to be honest, just rinsing them with plain water has worked absolutely fine. Just take them to the sink, hose them as much as you can inside now. Just lift all the leaves up and down. So it's all going quite well. In fact, there's a couple in there. I'll just fix it right now. is you just flush the green fly off the, the leaves they all end up on the surface of the plant and then with a bit of carefulness they can just pour that surface water away and then just flush the wee buggers down the sink cheerio so I've been doing that every day and it's really, really working. They are so naughty and they breed so quickly and they spread so fast. It's a challenge to try and keep on top of it. But next year, I'll put some insect mesh over the windows and that should hopefully cut it down again another percentage. So last week's video, I showed you the seeds that I was planting for over winter. The gourmet lettuce, the turnips, the red cabbage, the rocket and the winter lettuce. Look at that. So these are the turnips. I think I put three or four seeds in every cell. And there's that. I think that's one coming up there as well. So that means every single cell has got one in it, which is wonderful. Next door is the red cabbage. And again, I think, again, I think I put in three seeds and every cell has got one or two in them. That one's got two. Yep. Very, very happy with that as well. Gourmet lettuce, every cell's up and ready. They're doing well. Interesting, I didn't get so much, but there's still plenty there. I'll be able to split that open, plant them separately, hopefully. I'll probably do that quite soon, actually, just transfer them into a little pot, but not today. Next is the rocket. Gosh, they're so small. They are absolutely tiny. I didn't, <laughs> I know seeds are small, but these are minuscule. Very, very, very pleased at that that my tomatoes are starting to go red. <laughs> There's going to be a whole meal organised around that one tomato, I tell you. <laughs> the dogs are wanting to go their walk. They're not happy. <laughs> Faffing about in here, Mummy. Hurry up. Logan's just staring at the door, hoping it's going to open. I'm talking about you. Yes. Good boy. Are you a happy boy? Are you a happy girl? Are you a happy boy? Yes. If you want to see the development and see how we got on over the next months and hopefully years, then please subscribe and stay with us and I'll try my very best to produce quality content that you enjoy. <laughs> Me and the Beans is off to the kitchen now to get a wash and they'll be going in the fridge for tonight's tea. Take care everybody, hopefully see you next week. Bye! Yep, don't forget about the pressure in the hosepipe.